Here we go again. <coughs> Today we are going to make a choripan. Choripan, that's a Chilean bread, is stuck with the chorizo. Okay? Instead of chorizo, I'm going to make a crab meat chorizo. Okay? Regular chorizo is made with pork, made with, uh, with beef. I'm going to make it with crab meat. Ingredients One pound crab meat I separated uh, These are crab meat legs, okay? I separated some of the whole pieces of, of the legs Meat of the legs to, to use it for decoration at the end I have cut a cup Regular breadcrumbs, plain breadcrumbs, one beaten egg, one tablespoon Dijon mustard, quarter cup mayonnaise, half teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon ground black pepper, one tablespoon chopped cilantro, one shallot, very finely minced shallot. Same seed with the red bell pepper, minced very finely, and scallions, chop very small, chop, uh, uh, dice very small, okay? Uh, first thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to mix the eggs with the mayo, mustard, breadcrumbs, salt and pepper. I'm going to mix that first together. Now I will add and mix the rest of the ingredients except these crab meat legs that I have for the collection. We let it sit in the dough for a few minutes. Okay. Now we make a bowl and we extend it like a short, the size of a chorizo, okay, lengthwise. Make a nice round, press on it, go easy on it, okay, and give it a shape like that. You use, you can use a hot dog bread for this if you want to. If you don't want to make my, my bread, okay. The kind of bread I'm making is in my videos, okay. And we keep doing the same thing with the rest of the crumb meat. I'm putting the 
chorizos in this in this plate with parchment on it. I'm gonna freeze it for a, for some minutes so that way it gets a nice consistency in it. While I have the crab meat chorizos in the freezer, I measure these ingredients to make a tartar sauce to go with it. I have in here one cup mayonnaise, tablespoon of green chopped olives, it has with the red pimento inside. 1 teaspoon Dijon mustard, 2 tablespoon small capers, and 1 tablespoon chopped parsley. Very easy, I'm just going to mix all the ingredients together and leave it in the refrigerator until we need it. So there we have the tartar sauce and I'm going to put in the refri until we need it. I have in here all purpose flour, two beaten eggs, uh, panko breadcrumbs. So what I'm going to do is to bread the chorizos. I'm going to put it on all purpose flour first. I'm going to dip it on the eggs and then I'm going to dip it in with the breadcrumbs and I keep doing it the same thing I keep doing it with the rest of the stuff That's why it's important to put the chorizos in the freezer because are more firm to work with it. Here we have these beautiful chorizos. I'm going to put in the freezer now so it can get firm again. Besides the tartar sauce, I made a chimichurri sauce that is very popular in South America for the choripans. It's like a, the, the bread with the chorizos, or in this case, I'm doing chorizo crab meat, okay? And I'm gonna use this sauce too. The ingredients I have for this sauce, half a cup, I'm using olive oil, you want to use vegetable oil, you can use vegetable oil. Half a cup chopped parsley. Two tablespoons fresh oregano leaves or chopped, chopped oregano leaves. Cilantro, cora cup chopped cilantro. Half a cup minced onions, half teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon ground black pepper, one night teaspoon cayenne pepper or at your own taste, three minced garlic cloves. Very simple. We are going to mix all the ingredients together and that's it.
So that's our chimichurri sauce. So now I'm going to start frying the chorizos. I have the hot oil. I don't want to put too many time. I'm gonna put, I have six, I'm gonna put half of it, three. This crab meat chorizos, I already has a nice golden color, so I'm gonna transfer it to this platter with a paper towel on it, so it will absorb the oil of it. Nice. This is beautiful. You see, you put it in the freezer to make them nice and firm. That way when you cook them, doesn't fall apart. This crab meat chorizo so came out beautiful. Now we can finish uh, making the choripan. So here, we had our beautiful um, chorizos made of crab meat, our beautiful bread. Just finished baking in the oven. I have shredded lettuce, homemade tartar sauce, chimichurri sauce. I'm gonna make an example how it's supposed to look. I slice the bread open. Oh, look at look, look at that! That's beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to cut it all the way, cut it in half. Okay. And then I just split it open. Look! Look at the bread. Excellent. We are going to put some shredded lettuce on it. A hot dog, and then you decide what to put on top. You can use chimichurri sauce or you can use the tartar sauce. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use the homemade tartar sauce. And on top of that, I'm gonna to put a couple of pieces of the crab meat legs that I saved for this. Isn't that beautiful? That's a good looking doggy. And I'm gonna put it there. Okay. I'm gonna make another one with the chumichurri sauce. This bread came out so nice. <laughs> okay, letters. And then we put on top of it chimichurri sauce. Then we go with a couple of pieces of crab meat legs. And there we have another beautiful choripan. Choripan chilia way. There we go, nice homemade bread, chimichurri sauce, homemade tartar sauce, shredded lettuce. Grab me chorizos, and here it is our choripan. Beautiful.
Okay, my friends, isn't this beautiful? Shorty panes with crab meat chorizo, Chilean style. Bye-bye.